Sorry, before I let the comparison song run, I just want to make a quick admission here. The Kemper sound that I'm using on this is my single favorite distorted sound of all time. And I just want you to know so you can get ready to hear it. Doesn't mean I like the Kemper better than the Axe effects in all instances. This is just the best sound. And so you're about to hear the bomb diggity. <laughs> in context of a mix. For you techies out there, I used the same cabinet IR on both of these and all effects other than the amp distortion with the same exact effect added in the mix using VSTs. As you saw in the video title, we're comparing how the Axe FX3 and the Kemper deliver the orange rocker verb amp. You heard them both in that song, and now what I want to do is give you a comparison of them, just kind of jamming around with the basic distorted sound. Usually when I do these naked comparisons, I use an edge of breakup sound to bring out more of the nuance, but the sample for me is really about a hard rock metal type sound, so I'm not going to try and do anything but what I honestly use it for. So let me plug it into the Kemper first over here. Sounds like Yngwie. <laughs> so yeah, I'm using that Kemper sound there, the Kemper profile with a little bit of delay and reverb that's part of the profile. I love how the Kemper sound picks up the nuance of the pickups on this guitar, which have a nice variation to them, that gritty uh, bridge pickup. And then when I go to the neck, that real round. And roll the volume back to get that kind of backed off sound. a lot of character to it and actually a lot of noise too right you hear that the hum kind of like a real amp i don't know if i like that or i don't but it's easily enough corrected by adding some uh compression noise gate type of stuff on it now let's plug it into the axe effects version So with the Axe effects, I think you'll hear that the tone is a little tighter in the mid-range. It's more mid-focused and almost a bit more compressed sounding. The distortion is a bit more compressed sounding. And as is usual between these two units, I find it's a little bit more recording ready. And the Kemper sounds a little bit more like the amp in the room kind of feel. And you might do more with it in post-processing when you're recording, but really enjoy playing with it as a live sound. As you heard, the Axe is pretty reactive to the pickups as well. Maybe not quite as much as the Kemper. You got the that gnarly kind of bridge. And go over to the neck. Gets a little bit rounder. That pickup in the middle there. Real chimey. So both do a good job of that, but I think the Kemper is a little bit more. So they both do a good job of that, but I think on the orange amp here, the Kemper does it slightly better. What do you guys think? Let me know what you preferred and why. Also, let me know if you have any other amps or aspects of these things that you'd like me to compare. And until next time, keep making great music.